Welcome back. This year, Riverdance has teamed up with Cystic Fibrosis Ireland ahead of their now annual summer run in the Gaiety Theatre. Yes, appearing with the worldwide phenomenon on stage is Katie Murphy, a woman living with CF, who uses her passion for dance to maintain her fitness. She joins us along with Riverdance lead dancer, James Grennan. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having us. A summer run about to kick off next week. Next week, in yeah. In the Gaiety yeah. Theatre. Uh, but this one is particularly special for you, Katie. So we'll come to you first. Yeah. Um, because you've joined <coughs> forces with, or Riverdance have joined forces with CF Ireland. Yeah, so um, I suppose the charity partnership was announced uh, towards the end of last year when I was still working with CF Ireland. So the fundraising team, and, and thanks to them for putting putting me in touch with Riverdance about this, because this wouldn't have happened otherwise, um, just asked me. They knew that I loved Irish dancing. Um, so kind of as soon as Riverdance was mentioned, they kind of dragged me into the boardroom to see what could we do to help raise funds and awareness and kind of just snowballed from there a little bit. So I'm um, delighted that I'll be joining the troupe on stage for the opening night on Thursday the 22nd of June. So what are you going yeah. to be doing? Are you, are you... I'm doing two dances. So yeah. I'm doing the river dance dance, which um, I think everyone will always know the music from, and yeah. then also the finale. And I suppose that's kind of the ultimate dream, you know, the full lineup, that beautiful music by Will, Bill Whelan. Um, yeah. So that's that's kind of my role in the, in the shows. For... for, for... Some of us, we mightn't uh, understand the, 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 the details of cystic fibrosis, but obviously you, you look like the embodiment of, of, of health, you know. And is yeah. that down to your, your fitness regime? Is that how you yeah, look? It's a thing? huge part of it. So obviously CF is a genetic condition. So I was born with it, um, mm. but only diagnosed at the age of three. It was before there was any um, heel prick test for children. Mm. Um, so... Uh, growing up, really, I was quite well. You know, I wasn't overly sick all of the time, but I put that down to great parenting yeah. as well as mm. a lot of exercise because I did Irish dancing from the age of five and did it competitively. So I would have been training three or in classes three times a week, mm. training myself every other day and then competitions at the weekend. So it's very high intense exercise. Yeah. And for CF, it's generally the, the number one issue most people have is a buildup of, of mucus on the, on the lungs and airways. And exercise is a key way of keeping that clear. Okay. And if you can keep it clear, it can help keep infections at bay. So um, that, of course, uh, incorporated with a lot of good medication and brilliant healthcare have yeah. kept me and so well. And the strives well. they've made in, well, in that, that area yeah, as well. Huge, huge developments in, in drugs that are tr now treating the underlying cause of this illness so yeah. instead of just trying to manage the symptoms which is where exercise plays the most important role and um, they now have drugs that are treating the underlying cause so for me it's a combination of everything but yeah. of course exercise is is so important major developments is one wonderful news yeah james you have are the lead dancer in the in the river dance uh, troupe that's coming to to uh, dublin this summer are, are you just back from traveling the world in, in your glamorous exotic lifestyle <laughs> <laughs> well myself uh, i I put myself in a little hold from tour to set up my own business. All oh, right. But uh, yeah, the guys from America, they're finishing, they have an American tour on at the moment, finish today, fly home tomorrow, and then straight back into rehearsals on Tuesday for the summer run. There's no break, is there? No, not no. at all. You, you we're, we're, literally we're hit the ground running. We're some footage of the incredible show now. And for anyone, I know you'll have people who, who go to see it every year, and, and maybe more, um, but for anyone who hasn't seen the show, what can they expect and what kind of changes are taking place this summer? Well, Riverlands are always updating, you know, they have new costumes. Uh, they put in a new number about two years ago, a new female number, which really embodies the power of the, the female persona in this modern age. And there's new lights, light design set. So uh, we're constantly evolving with the times and keeping it fresh and modern for the audience. For you, James, uh, just talking to Katie there about, about fitness levels, you know, you do look fit as a butcher's dog. I mean, obviously the dancing <laughs> uh, provides a large part yeah. of that, but th there's more even than, than just the dancing to keep you in top physical shape. Absolutely. You know, um, you know river dance is great to keep you fit, but at the, at the same time, it's, you know, you need the variety of movement. Mm. So a lot of people do Pilates or yoga or even do strength and condition stuff while on tour um, to keep those fitness levels up to yeah. keep the, all those little muscles uh, fight or working that, that they're not using during the show. Yeah, yeah. And uh, to keep on peak performance. It's a whole lifestyle, really, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, um, he I, he I heard that, that you're treated kind of like um, top racehorses and that you get, you know, you <laughs> get a rub down and a massage and a physio after the show. Is that, is that true? They do. They, they look after us very well. We have a, a masseuse and a physio. 
Um, hopefully, Katie will get to avail of that next week. Fingers crossed. I was going to yeah. say, make sure you get that level of star treatment Absolutely, now. Yeah. Um, yeah. But fitness has become so much part of your life and so important to you that you've set up your own fitness business yeah. as well. Yeah, so uh, July of last year, myself and my partner Joe opened Wolfhound Fitness. So we're a strength and conditioning based gym, in, or gym based in Mullingar. So, um, yeah, I had been working with CF Ireland for five years as the senior research and policy coordinator and kind of took the plunge in December and took a career break to concentrate on our business. So thankfully it's been it's been going really well. Um, we offer kind of a lot of that kind of strength and conditioning style training. We work with a lot of sports teams um, and individuals who are just looking to be functionally fit. And, and I think it's something that we as a country and a society, I know I think we know about obesity levels and you know the inactivity in young people. So I love being a part of that movement where we're seeing people of all ages, all sizes, all abilities, just not trying to get fitter and healthier. It's mm -hmm. a bit of a change from research and policy, isn't it? It's kind of it's flexing a, a different change. muscle, you know? Yeah, oh, completely. And yeah. It, it really is. And it's a nice change, you know, um, working, I loved working with CF Ireland and it was during such an exciting time that I was involved in, in research. It's when we had all these drugs coming down the pipeline and we had so much policy work to do to try and make them available because they were, I, I know you covered a lot around or can be and Kaleidico, mm -hmm. these drugs that were very expensive but very effective so that was such a massive part of my work and, and um, it's nice to kind of take a little that's quite an intense type of work um, mm. and now I suppose it, as you say it's complete it's flexing completely different muscles yeah. now but I'm really yeah. enjoying the business side of it and on an ongoing basis Katie because we have a disproportionately high level of CF mm. in Ireland we do, don't yeah. we per yeah. capita um, is it managed with fitness and medication yeah and yeah. life so is, is fine well, for some people, I mean, there's a huge variety in severity. You know, I think I represent a certain type of person with CF who's quite well. Unfortunately, there are so many young children who are still really unwell a lot of the time yeah. and spend a lot of time in hospital, you know, who miss out on a lot of the normal day-to-day -day things that kids take for granted or young adults. Um, it's still, we still have a very young um, life expectancy um, where, you know, the average age of death is still under 30 years of age for, really? for people with CF in Ireland. Yeah, it is. So it is still a very significant and severe illness for many people. I think on the other side of it, there are many people who are doing well. Um, I know a lot of those drugs are very much down to specific gene types so some people may have a specific gene type that they can benefit from these really groundbreaking drugs and do really well mm -hmm. unfortunately there are a lot of other people who don't have those gene types and and but can still manage their condition so um these new drugs are one element of it exercise is a huge part of it um daily physiotherapy enzyme replacement therapy um iv antibiotics so regular trips to doctors yeah so it's yeah, quite a it's, a it's a very hectic routine for it people. is i know okay. yeah it's, yeah it's, it's a huge like a you're job. a case study in, in how it's managed well mm. yeah yeah i also i always feel i'm lucky um i suppose yeah. a lot of things have gone well for me and i i'm doing very well because of that but i do think it's you know it's nice to be able to share the positive story as well sure. and, and to encourage particularly young kids with cf to get out yeah. and get it Get active. Get active. Indeed. Yeah. James, um, uh, uh, Katie needs some tips yeah. ahead of going on stage <laughs> uh, this week. Um, you, you, you've performed in so many shows. Uh, what's it going to be like when she walks out and just sees this mass of faces and lights hitting her? Any advice to how to get over the, the nerves? Well, I suppose nothing can prepare you for that really yeah. you know you can do all the work in the studio and mm. but once you step out there and the, the lights and especially the Gaiety Theatre is so yeah. intimate the electricity in that a theatre is incredible. Yeah. So uh, I would just say try and soak up as much as yeah. you can, you know, and enjoy, it. enjoy it. live the yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's such a fantastic space, isn't it? Every time I sit in the gate here and you look up to the ceiling, it's yeah. just it's incredible. Gorgeous. I love the, the red the red velvet seats. It's real old school. Um, it's, I think yeah. it's just, yeah, it's beautiful. Well, you're not going to be in a red velvet seat now next, next, next week. I know I'll be on the other side of it, but no, it'll be great. And, and like a big shout out to everyone in Riverdance, including James. They've helped me prepare as best I can. So great. as you say, I can never fully prepare for it, but I feel like I'll, I'll give it a good shot. Well, have a ball. I'll have a ball. Enjoy it. Everyone, and Katie James, thanks a million for your time thank this morning. You.